Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to build your own garden labels uh, and 3D print them using Tinkercad. I have Tinkercad set up and here's an example of what I'm going to show you how to create. And then I'll give you some other ideas towards the end of the, the little short video so that you can actually build your own. Now for a garden label, it's really important that it's long enough, it's strong enough, and it can actually pierce the ground and get into the earth. How we do that is by creating a nice long stem and I'll make it four by four. Oh, it's a bit high. I'm gonna make it four by four. So four millimeters high and four millimeters wide and approximately 120 long. That way we can print it in our 3D printer. Now like this, it won't actually dig into the ground because it's quite hard to get that really large area into the ground. I need to create something more like that on the left. How I've done that is I get another box and I manipulate it using these little white squares on the side. And to make the height shorter, you grab the one right in the middle and I'll make it about seven. My favorite tool is the one that allows you to align these two. And I select both by creating a square around and then I click on this button up here and I align them right in the middle. If you have a look, it's starting to look a little bit more similar. Obviously that's the one, that one's on the side. I'll just make this a little bit longer without making it wider. I'll make sure it's a one. Awesome. So we're looking good there. It's still in the middle and it's looking good. To make it pointy, this is where we use the hole tool or if you want to think about it as cutting. So I'm going to cut a hole or a wedge really right across like that. But I'm going to put it right towards the end. And for that to work, I need to click on this button, make it a hole and use the grouping tool. So I'm gonna click on group up here. Awesome, so I'm looking good there. Remember you can change your view around using these buttons. You can look at it from the top and so forth over here. Now, so that I can actually put my tomato sign or my different fruit or veggie sign on the side, I need to rotate. So I'm gonna use the tools at the end. So if you wanna rotate around this way, I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. So that will make it nice and flat, remember, a 360 is completely around, so if we want to turn it to one side, we're going to rotate 90 degrees. Now to add some text, it's quite straightforward. You grab in the text. Again, we need to rotate this to the side, and we'll bring that to the top over here. I might actually bring it on this side this time. Make sure it's 180 because it's going to go that way. Awesome. And it's important that it also sits and connects because when it 3D prints, it needs to connect as well. I'll change the text, I might call this Basil. Remembering when we do 3D print, it will only print in oh, one color. Uh, the color is determined by the 3D printer, not by what you put in Tinkercad. Now that's a little bit too high, so I'm gonna drag it down by that, red, red, uh, that white button in the middle. Remember, if you wanna raise it up or down, it's the cone at the top. One of my favorite shortcuts, and I'll, I'll also add a list of shortcuts and a little link in this video. But if you press D, it will go down to the base, which is really important. You wanna make sure everything is on the base uh, so that when it does print, it print, prints from the floor. So there's an example of a label that you can create. Now, if you're really keen to try some different tools and see what else you can create, I've created a bunch of other options for you. So this is a simple one we've created today. This one, again, is quite straightforward. You might wanna consider, oh, that you'd have a little base, an extra little rectangle underneath so it can print and stick all together. This one's a tr bit trickier. I use the scribble tool. Um, there's other options. You could make it a 3D version. So I have a tomato that's in 3D, or you might actually cut out text in this case here. Totally up to you. What can you come up with? You might even come up with different ways of putting it into the ground. Up to you. I wanna see what you can create. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them as soon as possible. Have a great day.